That's right, folks. This is On the Money with Ryan Wheelis, creating your financial flight plan to retirement. Ryan, still, I'm loving this. I'm loving being able to see you every single week on the radio program and the video cast for your YouTubes. How you doing, Ryan? Well, Spike, I mean, you love seeing me because I'm just a handsome devil. I've got the face, as we say, humble. for radio. Humble yeah. as well. I, you know, relatively humble, but... Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I, I dress, you know, with a jacket on. I, I put my, my, my pocket square in, you know, in the morning. I, I try to try to maintain a dapper appearance for sure. You know, I, I, I when I started in the industry, and you were you were just a day or two before me. You, I think you started a little bit earlier than I did. I remember working at a firm, and we got a company wide email saying you don't have to wear ties anymore for your appointments because the retirees were coming in saying, look. I'm coming in a polo shirt and blue jeans. I don't want to be across the desk from somebody in a $5,000 suit. You like to have people feel comfortable when they come into your office? You, you know, yeah, for sure, Spike. And in my tenure in this industry, which is I started in 07, I think, is when I, when I actually started in the industry, I have never seen a client or prospective client walk in my office with a suit and tie on. It's never happened one time. Now, I, I am curious. You know, we can kind of do a survey here, right, of folks call us and, and tell us to tell us. You know, 844-944-7555, call us, tell us. Do you want your financial advisor to wear a suit and tie? Is that important to you? If, if you walk in and the advisor's got a tie on versus no tie, is it going to sway you one way or another based on a tie and a suit and that sort of thing? Or, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a person – you know, in a in a nice dress or or, or something like that, or a, a a jacket with a button down shirt on and a pocket square is that is that okay? What's okay? I'm you know we don't know. We, mm -hmm. we assume we know, right? We try to look at research, but folks, call us eight four four nine four four seventy five fifty five. Tell us what you think. No tie, tie suit and tie. You know what? What's your opinion? Because that this stuff does matter. We we want to connect with people uh, on their level spike, but. Um, you know, we, we, we at Allied Wealth, we're, we're more um, a pair of jeans, a nice button-down shirt, and a jacket is, is our, our weekly attire. Um, the, uh, the team um, dresses down on Thursdays because we, we, um, let, uh, we have work from home days on Fridays. Um, so, you know, but it's, it's important. Yeah. All right, let's get into this right now because uh, we want to try to cover as many as we can. Retirement regrets and ways that you can help people avoid having regrets in retirement. Um, you see this. You talk to people all of the time. So what are some of the things that folks say to you when you start taking them through the process? Um, Spike, the, the biggest one above all else um, that is is shocking, by the way, I, th I think people – um, don't even really resonate with this one, but it's it, they think it's money or stock market returns or risk or whatever. It's health, man. It, by a mile, it's it's health. It's taking care of yourself. Um, and that starts before yeah. you retire. You know, having some type of regimen. Um, there's so many wellness programs out there now that, that, uh, that you qualify for with insurance, by the way, folks, because the insurance companies would rather keep you healthy then you not be healthy because unhealthy people drive the cost of insurance up, right? Um, but your health is just such a big deal, Spike. And I think people, um, you know, for, for whatever reason, we yeah. overlook those things. Um, in my industry, we you know, have you, one vessel, you know, and, and we've got to take care. I just came from my dentist recently, and it all reminds me of that as well. You know, you got, you got one set of teeth. You got to take care of them. We got one yeah. body to go through retirement and well, stretching, in, physical re regimen, right? Spike, this in our in this industry is tough because you know for me me personally, um, I can literally have a wholesaler uh, trying to get me to sell their mutual funds or ETFs or structured notes or private equity funds or, or you know uh, uh, real estate funds, whatever it is, and they will take me to Capital Grill, you know, five nights a week if I want to go, right? And 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 quite frankly, think about all the the listeners who get these dinner seminar invitations. You know, they can go to dinner on a different financial yeah, advisor at a steakhouse every night of the week, right? So it's, you know, just from an eating standpoint, it, it's tough. But by a mile, it's health. You know, we, we focus on a couple of things at Allied Wealth, um, and we believe some things are, are priority. One of them is faith. Uh, I think it's important to have, to have a, a relationship with a higher power. Um, some people take that to a different level than others. That's, that's your business. Um, I think family is next. Uh, I think uh, health is next. And I think wealth is after 
Um, and so those are kind of the four pillars. And I think a lot of people focus on the wealth portion and they forget the health portion. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think as you age and get into retirement, your health is actually the most viable commodity that you have, um, followed by your time, then followed by your money. Right. Uh, about retirement timing. Uh, I saw one where folks had been saying they wish that they had retired earlier so they could enjoy more of that time. I mean, I read articles we're supposed to work for four decades to maybe be off for half a decade. I mean, isn't that a little unbalanced? It is, Spike, and I, I, I think you should make it a point to enjoy things along the way, uh, you know, make the journey fun, if you will, right? Don't just work tooth and nail to arrive at some number and time point in your life to start enjoying life. I, I don't I think you should enjoy life along the way because, you know, tomorrow's not promised. I, I you know, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know when my, my final day on earth is going to be, but I would sure as heck like to know that I enjoyed life as much as I could for the, on the, for the time I was allowed to be here. Right. And, and privileged to be here, by the way. Um, so I think a lot to spike though is, you know, do people not retire earlier because they don't know, if they can yeah. retire or not, mm-hmm. you know, have they, have they sat down with a fiduciary financial advisor and said, Hey, you know, how do I, how am I doing? Right. I mean, am I, am I on track? Can I do this in two years, three years, four years? Can I spend this much? Can I spend that much? Can I do this thing or that thing? And Spike, I think a lot of people too, they just don't engage in that capacity or they take a simpler path and get on like a fidelity calculator and, which will calculate that you need one point two three eight seven five million dollars to retire, um, and they don't really get into the weeds and the details about a detailed retirement plan, which really starts out with your vision. Like, what are you doing, right? And maybe you've gotten to a point where you can retire earlier than you thought, but you just don't know that you can because you've not sat down with somebody to put the pen to paper and do the numbers and do the planning for you to figure that out. Yeah, yeah. Wishing we took care of our health, wishing that we had maybe spent a little more time enjoying that retirement. What about the spending? I I agree with you. It's not about the dollars and cents, but some folks wish they had spent a little bit more, meaning did that travel, lived that lifestyle. How do we help people avoid having that regret? The plan lets folks know how much they can spend in income. But how do we get them to pick up the phone? How do we get them to take action? Well, Spike, you know, with the spending, it's it's tough, man, because, you know, you've got a, a, a situation where people are living longer than they live, have lived before. And, and, the, and the folks that we're talking to right now, you're going to live longer than any generation in history, right? Um, so I think there's a concern with spending money right um versus enjoying life and and the mm-hmm. and the fear of running out of money what you know cuz um you know the 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 worst day of retirement is not the day you run out of money it's the day you realize you're going to run out of, out of, out of money so i think a lot of folks are fearful of getting to that point or coming to that realization so they don't spend as much but you know the bottom line spike is you will never see um uh, a u-haul trailer behind a hearse at a funeral right <laughs> you know i mean you just you just won't do it it's not there and you're the roundabout about saying we can't take it with us it, yeah you know and you won't because you can't take it with you um and you know the uh, on national average how long it takes your kids to go through your money hmm. a year 10 months do you know why it takes them 10 months because that's how long it takes to get through probate. <laughs> it takes them nine months to get your will through probate. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> okay, right. Okay, I was, I was guessing on that. I you didn't. were guessing, and that's a good <laughs> guess, right? And so what's really interesting is you know, what you spent a lifetime to build, um, you know, that boat you never bought, that, that pool you never put in the backyard, that truck you never mm-hmm. bought, that, you know, thing you never did. Hey, that pool's in your kid's yard. That truck's in your, in your, in your kid's driveway, right? Um, you know, they go through money very quickly. And so I say that, you know, with, with some to try to make this stuff fun, right? But the reality is, is you can't take it with you, folks. So enjoy it while you're here. And one of the ways to get enjoyment while you're here and get peace of mind and confidence in enjoying your money, because you absolutely should do that, is working closely with a good fiduciary advisor, having quarterly reviews, 
six-month reviews, annual reviews, and making sure you're on track. And understand that spending in retirement is dynamic. A lot of it can be flat, meaning you can have some you know, guaranteed sources of income coming in to make sure that your, um, your, um, your needs are met, your basic needs are met for as long as you have breath in your body. Um, but then you might have some years where the markets are really good to you, and you can spend some more money, right? Um, but working closely with a good advisor to make sure you're on track through good markets and bad markets can really help you be able to go out into the world and spend that money with confidence and enjoy what you worked your whole life for because, by God, you earned it. You really Let's did. not have regrets in retirement. Make sure you get started on your own financial flight plan. For those of you on the radio, we're going out to break. On YouTube, click on our next video. We're going to continue this conversation in our radio program. 844-944-7555 is the phone number. Folks are standing by right now to schedule an appointment for you to get started on your financial flight plan. You can also go to retirenowhouston.com or retirenowaustin.com. We just want to help you get started on that plan. Don't have regrets in retirement. Call a financial advisor like Ryan Wheelis of On The Money and Allied Wealth right here in Texas. 